Hello guys and welcome to iTechnology Reviews. I would like to talk about the application of the Gear S. First of all, when you receive the watch, you have to install Samsung Gear. Samsung Gear will find will find your watch and we will connect. Without Samsung Gear, you can't install applications to the watch. Okay, the Samsung Gear looks like this, connected via Bluetooth. This year uh, I installed a few applications on the watch from the home styler you can change you can change the wallpapers and you can put it here um, let's see you can upload music from your phone directly to the watch images directly to watch okay I have reminders if you see here I have reminders notifications sorry okay the S health application I recommend to use auto transfer if you are doing running so here you will find the Samsung gear applications and By category and I recommend to install all the gear essentials you will not find Facebook application and I will tell you how to use Facebook in the watch install Opera in the Opera Mini um, press plus and add your address yeah, at Facebook so if you add Facebook it will uh, it will use directly on browser and it's very slow Opera is kind of fast browser the watch connected to the phone uh, you can give calls directly like this and you don't need the phone you can talk directly to the watch the Nike running application it's very well I tested a, a bit uh, difference from running and the S health is that the Nike running will show you when you slow down it uses both are using GPS but night running it will show you when you slow down the night running didn't coach me didn't train me with a, with a voice in the watch in the phone application it will it will do that but I think it's a setting and I didn't activate that setting but it's a fine application it's accurate some users will tell you about S health that is not very accurate in the running I test uh, the S health I tested um, Adidas coach uh, application and Nike running and uh, the phone it's more accurate but not by far the settings of the watch you can change the style the clock the clock type in the clock type you can personalize these features for instance, set dual clock or notification. I leave it to the weather. Okay, let's go back into the settings. Okay, the wallpapers, but I showed you you can do this in the phone. Okay, the color team. Color team. Yeah, the font. Okay. Add the sound. And the sound. It doesn't have sound and vibrate. You have to choose or sound or vibrate. I don't understand why Samsung didn't do this feature sound and vibrate. Or maybe it will in the next updates. Vibration. 
ringtone notification. Okay, in the display, you have the brightness, the way you have the possibility using the last screen or the clock when you open, wake up the screen. Okay, connections Bluetooth. You can connect a Bluetooth handset, for example, a Bluetooth wireless stereo system or a headset. Okay. Remote data usage to tell you how much did you use and GPS. Add the connections. Let's see the notification. Do not disturb. Double press. I personally leave it to S voice. But you can personalize. Privacy lock. If you want to use a pin, for example. Motions. I use mode pause option and wake up gesture to show me the wake up gesture shows me the watch and the time languages i turned off the smart to the samsung keyboard a smart typing i leave it off for predictive text to not agglomerate the the keyboard okay But it has a nice feature uh, that you can download over Wi-Fi and not connected on the Bluetooth. When you use the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi in this software will not work. And you can download it your country map to, for offline navigation. But if you want to, uh, if you want to navigate to a city, the navigator will ask you to pair with your phone so this is not very okay for example if you are a pedestrian if you want to look for a nice co to, to have a nice coffee um, pub it will ask you for the phone if you are not having the phone at you if you can't use this application the timer you can put the timer here stopwatch Okay, let's see the music player the music player it's okay but if Samsung made it an equalizer for this player it would be awesome so um, I talk in a review of the HS uh, 6000 headphones from Samsung they have integrated the equalizer in the headphones if you are if you are looking to listen to music with equalizer you have to use sound the live technology integrated in the headphones the player is very nice it looks very good you can uh, track the music by folders okay or by artists by albums by playlists okay news briefing weather the weather you have to be outside to to check out the weather because it use it uses GPS like uh, Aku weather Aku weather uses GPS if you are using for example uh, the weather channel the weather channel does not use GPS you get you you give your location and it will it will show you the weather voice memo will transfer five minutes of sound directly in your phone it will record store the voice uh, or the sounds that you recorded in the watch and when you connect to the Bluetooth it will automatically transfer the voice okay. find my car it uses GPS you have to use it outside music radar is not very accurate in uh, in uh, finding the name of the song 
and are a lot a lot of applications here in Samsung gear you have Instagram you have a lot of application but you will not find for example Shazam you will not find ways you will not find a lot of application that we need you might find even Facebook I, I told you if you want to use Facebook or rather use Opera mini um, a lot of application on Android will not you will not find it for gear for example Shazam live stream ways um, power amp MX player are not are not available yet maybe the developers will do this application because I think there are that are very very important another important important thing that I want to tell you I read about and I had the problems connecting by internet with the uh, this application with Samsung gear I have to tell you something very important I read about and I had this problem connectivity for connectivity by internet in the Samsung gear and Samsung Galaxy Note 3 with lollipop 5.0 um, to avoid this problem uninstall gear s application and reinstall it but be careful it will factory reset your watch it will reset you will erase all your applications so when you reinstall it please have a decent connection Wi-Fi connection so this will help you solve this connectivity problem by internet and you can do calls auto forwarding calls another feature that I think that it is very important is tethering by Bluetooth for example if I have data connection permanently in the watch and I don't have much uh, data connection in 3g or 4g it will be nice for samsung to make a tethering by bluetooth and use your watch internet connection it will be very very decent so this was the review of the application from samsung gear s if you like it please subscribe see you